most people do their best not to get kicked out of the plane. But what happens when entitled people think they're untouchable and cause havoc? You wanna check my pussy? Okay, well that's on you then. So the gentleman is not wanting to press charges, okay? <laughs> Here are 10 instances when airport Karens got kicked out of the plane, starting with Victoria Ramirez. On September 19, 2021, officers were notified of a violent passenger at an airport. They met with a passenger, but weren't prepared for the very tense altercation. Everything, I want fresh cards. All right. No, I want to have a clear. Okay. That's it. 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 The airline staff reported that Victoria hit and pushed her unprovoked on the bridge. Victoria denied the claims of violence, but when the cop approached her, she became extremely combative. Victoria took offense to the cops for not hearing her side of the story. She felt the cops had to believe her over the airline staff because she was a cop. She also informed them of her pregnancy and was even about to show them her child's picture, but she remained unaware of the coming disaster. Ma'am, you're not gonna grab, you're not gonna fly, so uh. Ma'am, you're not gonna fly. Why? Why? They, they're they're not gonna allow allow it. Why? Come on. Because they said so, it doesn't matter. We have to go but now. why? I'll pay for it. Ma'am. I'll pay for it. Driver's license, and we need to go now. All right, but I'll pay If you do not do this, I do not want to put you in handcuffs. All right, but I'll pay for it. Understood. We'll talk about that. Driver's so, license, let's so go. Like, so I just want to have a... I'm going to go, but I just want to so have a... I'm going to go. We'll we don't talk want to... I just want to have a... So you mean to tell me that it's okay for someone to say, you know what? I don't want to hear my flag. And you guys... Let's go now. Let's go. Come with me. Thank you. Victoria claimed to be a cop, but she had a problem with following trespass protocols. After she displayed aggression, she was taken off the bridge. Victoria was then escorted out of the airport, but she started to wander away from the cops and became shockingly arrogant. I'm an officer, like, I'm in over 100k a year. Okay. I'm okay. Good deal. I'm okay. There you go. I'm okay. Awesome. Thank you. It's Thank gonna you. be so funny to there see them go. still left right there okay. with the fucking minimum jobs there. Yeah, and I make over 100k a year. Don't worry about so it's okay. Man. Don't so worry it's about okay. it. Don't worry I have about to be it. right here because I, I gotta No, pee. no, we gotta go to the no, office. No, 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 no. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. And I'm just gonna... You gotta pee? Yeah. And you wanna know my stuff. You gotta pee here? It doesn't matter. Listen, we need to go to the office. Let's go. I've been very patient with you. Let's go. You have not asked me about my rights. Okay. I'm an officer. I'm going to officer. talk to you in the office. I make yeah, 120. I make 120 years a year. We need to I'm not going to pick office. it up. Get your manager to yeah. tell me that I need to get there. No, no, go to the bathroom there, man. It's okay. We get your man. I make 120. I make a hundred and twenty thousand a year. I need get you. your manager so or an attorney to that can me. tell me to go to Listen. your office. Victoria insisted on remaining uncooperative unless a supervisor was present. She seemed to believe her yearly income and cop status meant she didn't have to take orders from the cops. But as a resistance charge looked imminent, Victoria did something completely unexpected. Same. I'm pregnant. Okay. I'm about to have a miscarriage, and I can All sue right. the shit. Right, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! I'm in pain! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Right. I'm Sorry, fucking licking! Yeah, I'm yeah, licking! Yeah, yeah. I'm licking! I'm licking! Oh my god! I think I'm losing my baby! I'm losing my baby! I'm fucking losing my baby! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! I'm losing my baby! This is a spirit! And fucking the airline losing! I'm losing my baby! I'm losing my baby. Oh my god. Call the fucking ambulance. Look at what the fuck you're looking at me. You don't see my child is coming out. Victoria claimed she was having a miscarriage, and the cops notified medical services. 
With this, her combative nature reduced and the cops watched her from a distance. But on the arrival of the supervisor, Victoria became uncontrollably violent. She said, if I don't know how to get on a plane, it's okay. You know what the gay guys say? Do you think it's right? Do you think it's right to just like, let a pregnant woman get in the car? She was like, oh well, I don't fucking like her. And you know what your bitch has said? And your bitch has and your bitch has said? It's okay. It's okay. You okay, that? You okay, that? After I told you, sir, Victoria. I have a phone. Victoria. I have, shut the fuck up. I said, listen, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I said, shut up. Fuck you. Fuck you because I should have been in Puerto Rico since 1 o'clock p.m. Okay. And you did it okay. You did not okay. You told them not to let me okay. Victoria yelled, threatened, and cursed at the cops continuously. She was very relentless, and all efforts to calm her down and de-escalate the situation failed. She remained agitated, but soon realized that she was not above the law. Victoria, calm down. I heard you now. You said it to me twice. I heard you. Okay. Yeah. I'm in no, no. Victoria, yeah. you're yeah. under arrest. Yeah. Put her... You wanna know, you see that, you see that bracelet that you're touching? Make sure you, uh, you see that bracelet that you're touching? Oh, no. It's okay. Here. Don't waste your time. 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 Fuck you. None of you were ever fucking for me. None of you. The minute that you let the bitch fucking get in that plane, none of you were ever for me. I'm a fucking veteran. I'm fucking. I'm fucking fought for this fucking country for fucking nine years. Fuck you. Fuck you. Victoria was charged with battery and disorderly intoxication. Her trial is still ongoing, but the next passenger was even more entitled. You don't need to right now. I need to. to. It's my privilege. Good, it's your privilege. Okay, thank you. On December 31st, 2021, officers arrived at an airport after a disorderly woman was deplaned, but nothing could prepare them for the extremely fierce interaction. We're here for, like, your behavior, okay? My behavior? Yeah. Okay, I got a plane for the IOC. They gave me an E, which is a m middle C. Right. That is not what I paid ID. for. The woman's behavior caused the airline to send all passengers off the plane. She took no responsibility, but instead blamed the airline and requested another plane. She then eavesdropped on a conversation between cops, but that sparked a very hostile encounter. Right. No, I'm trying to listen to you. You don't need to right now. I need to. to. It's my privilege. Good, okay, thank you. So don't tell me what I cannot and cannot do. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Now. Sit no, down. I would like to hear what people are saying. Just have a seat. You can have a I am allowed now. to hear you know what, what they are saying. Right Please tell me if I've spoken to someone and I've touched someone. Okay, so Listen to him. Let ask okay. him that question. All right, Jacqueline, we're going to leave. Ask him. Jacqueline, you need to leave now because no. you've been denied. No, ask him. Okay. Ask him. Ask him. Did you want to hear my answer, someone. Jacqueline? Jacqueline. You better ask him Jacqueline, if I've talked to someone. Now, okay. And you're Listen. Gonna you out. You're going to be escorted out. I don't live out. here. Delta's not flying. I live in New York. Well, Good. Okay. Delta Dude, has... who's paying for my ticket? You're going to have to. You got refunded. I got refunded for go. to live in Utah. Jacqueline was trespassed from the airport and needed to board another plane to home. The cops tried to help, but her high-pitched tone and irritable body language made that impossible. Work, we can work on you. Where am I going to go? I can answer those questions, but we're going to walk No, out. I don't want to go anywhere. Where am I going to go to Utah? You're going to go to the other airlines and try hooking there, okay? Dude, are you going to pay for it? You're refunded, okay? Okay, well then get my refund and refund me a we'll ticket a, back yeah, to New York. I don't know. It's going to go to your credit card. I okay, well that's on card. you then. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, let's start walking No, out. that's so f up. Jacqueline, you go. cannot do that. Hey, Jacqueline. You know how f up that they are leaving me homeless. Hey, They're leaving me homeless. Jacqueline, focus. 
Okay, we're gonna walk you out. Right walk now, me out to open, where? To where you can To the lobby legal. in Utah? At this point. I don't live in Utah! Jacqueline, at this point, we're helping you to go get rebooked. You keep doing this yelling, we're gonna look at criminal charges, okay? Disorderly conduct. Dude, is, this is on you, though! This is not on me, okay? Yeah, this you is cost, on you! Jacqueline blamed everything on the cops. Even after learning of her trespass, she remained unbothered by it. She believed misconduct had no consequences, but she soon proved the exact opposite. Jacqueline, All right, dude, give me my. Come here. Give me my. Sh I don't okay. do. Sh Let's go Stop! 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 Hands behind your back. Stop! Hands behind your back. Now. Stop! Hands your back. Stop! Hands behind your back. Stop! I don't live in you. Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. I don't live in you. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Hands behind your back. Oh, I. Stop resisting! 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 Stop she was then taken to the squad car, but she became even more violent on the way there. Get off me! Get off me! Stop resisting. No! Get off hey, me! Stop. Get off me! I am, I am. Do not move. Don't move. Get off me, you perfect! You perfect! Hey! Don't kick me! You understand? Get off me! What'd you Get off me! She was charged with disorderly conduct, assault on a police officer, and resisting arrest. She pled guilty to assault, but the other two charges were dropped. But Gabrielle wasn't as lucky after refusing to wear her face mask. Yep, you're gonna have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get after off the aircraft. After they made us wait and wait and wait. Yep, that's the way it is, but mm -hmm. right now I'm gonna And that's you. fine, and I will respect that. Okay. Gabrielle was asked to leave the plane after refusing to wear a mask and arguing with the flight crew. It seemed she was going to cooperate with the cops' demand and leave the plane, but she did the exact opposite and caused a very disturbing interaction. And I did not do anything, actually. Disrespect. We'll talk about Disres it outside. Disruptive, besides speak my mind. Okay. I know what I live in America, and that's what fucking America's right. about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. To me. Grab no, your bag. You know that. You know that. Give me another unit on the plane, please. If you really, if you are ever gonna put hands on me, grab your bag. No, I will grab my bag, but you don't want to sit here and sit up. Listen, no one's and gonna put you, their hands on you. All right, yeah, yeah, you grab won't. Grab your bag and yeah, just step yeah, off you here. Won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. No. Okay. You need me to get up. You may need me to get up, but you know what? I feel my need to do as a person, just like Jesus, motherfucking Christ. You need to call. No, out. no, I'm gonna do call what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do, and if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? You ready? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to say. Yes, no, to everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get him. The cop learned that Gabrielle assaulted and spat on other passengers of the plane. She refused to get off and appeared to be under the influence of something. She also believed she was innocent of any wrongdoings, and the cops had no right to take her off the plane. But she received a major surprise. Put your hands on me, though. Hey, let's go, Ruff. Come on. No, That's why it. do you have a right to put your hands on me? Ma'am. What am I up. doing that makes you feel like you have a right to put your hands on me? Seriously, well, though, plan, can you tell me yeah. that? Tell the plan. Can you just help me to understand, as a as a human that is alive, why why do you? Seriously, though. Yep. Get him like off. seriously. Why can you just tell me that? Like I'm actually asking you as At a person. At this point, here's what's happening. They're gonna deplane the aircraft. I'm gonna take you off the that plane. That was already happening. Don't. And you're going to jail. Just so no, you that know. That was already happening. It, it won't happen okay. if you get up and walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going to, trust yeah. that. Right now they're gonna deplane. Oh, yeah. As soon as they deplane, you're going to jail. Okay. <laughs> if you do not get up. That's how it's gonna work. Do you see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it that's is, man. Not 
The airline chose to deplane Gabrielle and she denied being the cause. She eventually got off her seat, offended that the cops were otherwise going to arrest her, but she stumbled into something unexpected. Get off the plane, no. you said you wouldn't arrest me. So you as we're, a cop should have to honor that. Trying right? Trying right? To arrest no, her. you should though. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Don't talk to the cops and tell them we need to remove no, her. it really is though. That's my right. It's like you need to. Sit. No, we're getting to the Let's point go. where you're not expecting. Let's you're go. not respecting Russ. my human rights Let's as go. a constitution. Oh, 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 That's not true. I didn't do anything that did anything to you. No, man. That's not okay, dude. That's not okay. You know it. Yeah, we, we tried talking to you. No, you, you really didn't. I talked back to you and I was calm. And you yeah, honestly acknowledged me for a moment right. and then you didn't. Leave your hands there. Why did you do that? Like that. You didn't have to do that like that. It didn't hey. have to be like that. Come with me. I wasn't doing it. Come with me. No, man. <laughs> this shit is fucked up and you are a part of this. <laughs> And you do, you looked at me. I saw you look at me in my eyes. That's not not real, man. That's Just grab her bag. Real, yeah, yeah, she had a green backpack. That's not not real, man. Gabrielle walked by passengers whose flight got prolonged, but she felt unjustly treated. She was arrested for refusing to walk out herself, but she strangely felt manipulated by the cops. You said if stop, I got stop, up, stop. no, why would I stop when you lie to me? How is anyone gonna stop anything when you lie to them? You had your chance, ma'am. <laughs> I had my chance. You didn't even you, give me I a chance. You, I looked at you in your eyes, I you and I knew you were lying to me. No. All right. I, Are you ready to step up? Are you going to comply you, with everybody? No, everybody? with you too. Yes, not with you because you're a liar. Okay. No, he said he literally the reason he yeah, has me arrested right now is fucking why you 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 looked at me in my eyes. I looked at you outside of the plane before I ever went in there. You didn't have masks no. on. No. Can I say something before anybody takes me out so that I can just say what I have to say? And then I can say what I have to say, and then that's... While news about Gabrielle is limited, her charges are resisting an officer, trespassing, and interfering with aircraft operations. But Armstrong's behavior was very disturbing. On September 6, 2021, officers were notified of a disturbance in a moving airplane. Immediately, the plane landed. Officers went in, but were shocked after seeing something unexpected. Thanks. Of America as not hey, a disgrace. I think of America. On, let's go. Armstrong was found reciting what sounded like a mantra. He seemed calm and was very different from reports that police received. Armstrong was reported making derogatory comments and even growling at the plane crew. America. The passengers and crew members were frightened as the plane was 30,000 feet in the air. It portrayed Armstrong in a very different light, but things soon took a shocking turn. Come on, let's go. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? I think of America as not a display. Really? Um, Really? Really? Gentlemen? Really? I think of America as not a disgrace and you want to arrest me? 
Armstrong seemed shocked that the officers arrested him, despite his clear patriotism. He reportedly consumed high amounts of alcohol, evident in his slurred speech and shaky movements, but it also caused something utterly devastating. Armstrong was taken to a hospital to get his bleeding forehead checked out. Afterward, he was cited for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. But Brian Martin was a threat to everyone, including his family. There's no letting you go. Uh, your hands on your step. That's that point. I didn't even hit my wife. On March 3rd, 2022, officers received a report that a man had assaulted his wife and six-year-old daughter. After Brian's attack, his family was taken to a secure room and locked in by airport security. Police were immediately dispatched, but upon arrival, things became extremely heated. Sir, put your hands behind your back. 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 Brian was reported to have missed his flight after consuming high amounts of alcohol. He was then stopped from boarding another plane and attacked his wife and kids in annoyance. He then resisted arrest and even tried to grab a taser from the cop. They were alarmed by his drunken actions and even more shocked that he was an officer as well. What the we're going to get you a last position, right? Marine. Fix your hands. No, he's the Marine. Oh, you're a Marine? I'm a Marine. You're the Marine? Yeah. What's our, what, what uh, crew? What crew? Yeah, what have you been with? I was here for 20 years. It was a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, I've been in for about you're a Marine? Time, so, yeah. Uh, let's start acting like one. All right. <clears throat> right. I thought I was acting one. So if, you, if you give me a water, I'll be fine. If you give me water, I'll be fine. I got water, a pool water in my pool. Don't kick water. that, please, sir. I got water in my pool. Okay. Yes, sir. Just chill out. Relax. Go through this process That's and it. you put yourself in. Try that again, George. All right. You made your bet here. Yes, I did. All right. Sure. Come on. We got it. Yes. The cop felt Brian acted poorly for a former Marine officer, and Brian seemed to agree. He repeatedly apologized to the cops for his behavior, claiming that he had too much to drink. Brian appeared cooperative and took responsibility for his actions, but that was before he did something completely unexpected. You're kidding me, right? You couldn't even just let me go? There's no letting you go. We have to uh, put your hands on your side. That's that point. I didn't even hit my wife. Right. She's on a different flight. Look, she's calling me right now. Take the phone out of my pocket. That's my, that's my wife. Don't worry about it. If they're not even going to let me go, what the f***? Stay seated. Don't ever grab me again. Hey, stop. Let's go sit down. Okay? He's trying to make sure you're not going to fall. I know. I'm not going to fall on my face. I know how to act. 
give me the, give me that. Right now. Guy, give me the phone. Listen to me. Give me the phone. You're under arrest. Give me the phone. Stop. Stop. Give me the phone. Stay seated, please, sir. Like the fire department. Do you want to live or not? Uh, I'm sorry. Give me the phone him. or not. You're not threatening anybody. I think he can fill it out. Murphy from his home, from New York. Sir, please have a seat. We're trying to help you. You're under arrest. You got that? Yeah. You understand, understand, how, understand how, how it works. You're hurting me. Yeah, you kind of got it. Nobody's hurt. Brian was charged with child abuse, disorderly intoxication, and resisting an officer with violence. His case is currently an ongoing trial. But the next passenger was ready to lay down his life. I will lay down my life. On February 24th, 2022, Officers were notified of a man causing a disturbance with his religious beliefs. The officers arrived at the plane and got the man out, but things quickly became violent. Nice. This guy's Cut tough. It up. Let's go. Cut You're it tough. Up. I like Cut it. Cut it up. Talking? Cut well, it I get, up. I'm going to sue you. All right. You're getting sued. Let's, let's, let's I'm going to be a multi. Okay. Why are you touching it, it, me? It, you're going to hit that deck in a minute. I believe you. You got to hit that man. deck. Go. I believe you. Don't ask me. Don't ask My dog's tougher than you. Take your mask off. And I need to see your ID. Don't play with me. Look, I'm okay. not. You're a big right. guy. Do you think I'm afraid of you? I don't want you to be this afraid. Is dying for the Lord is. All right. I will lay down my life for my friend. Inside the plane, Chad reportedly challenged passengers using his religious and political beliefs. He seemed to focus more on men as he told a passenger that he wasn't man enough for wearing masks. Outside the plane, he wasn't any different as he told the cop to take his mask off. He was relentless in getting into a fight, and he soon got exactly that. I thought he was tough. Where is he? I thought you were tough. Stand right hey, here. You better stand back over there. If I'm you not, come up here, you're going to get hurt. He won't touch me. You don't know who he wants to talk You watched pornography, didn't you? Don't touch me again. Hey, what are you going to do? Touch me again. If you, you think, you, you think you're bigger than God, ask him. Don't touch me again. Do you understand me? Are you bigger than God? Do you understand what I just said? I can do whatever I want. This man ain't even half the man as you. You're the biggest man in here. And look, oh, he's got his. I'll talk to you. What you, you put, don't touch me, dude. What do you gonna f do? do? Do it. What y'all heard on TV last night? You're done. Put your hands behind your back. Put your, put your hand behind your back. Y'all are assaulting Put your me. hand behind your back. Where's the real man? Put Every your, real man passed this test. Oh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, this is great. Y'all are all done. Any woman in here, this is what a man does for his daughter. Anybody looks at a daughter with lust to their heart, they're a fucking pussy. Thank you, Owen. Owen Benjamin told me to say that. He's going to be my best friend. You know what? That man is a real man. After refusing to calm down, Chad got tackled and put in cuffs. He initially dared the cops to hit him, but when that happened, he threatened to sue them for assault. He had an excuse for everything he did and wanted the cops to believe them. He initially seemed to always lead with religion, but he ended up doing the exact opposite. Hi, hello lady, you're a pretty lady. A real man ever seek you out and come to you like a man? I want to talk to you, seriously, I really do. Can't touch me, can you? Oh, you can't touch me. Your mask is coming down. Pull it, honey, and it's gonna be gone. You hear me? It's only for you. Your mask's gotta be down. Pull your mask down. Pull it down. Pull, pull it down. Please. He's not a real man. He's gotta pass the test. You don't touch me. You're not touching me. Take your mask off and you can tell. No, you're not touching me. You're not strong. I want a strong man to touch me. Don't touch me. Who do you think you are? You're not strong enough for me. You're not. You know how crazy I am? I'm crazy like my dad. Yeah, you're pretty crazy. Yeah, you let go of me. I'm like, you're going to break my arm. You want to break my arm? You're going to get sued. No. But not that. You better let me. You're a pussy. You can't hurt me. You're a pussy. Do it. Everybody told you that your whole life. You're a pussy. You are. I can kick your ass. Take the handcuffs off of your man. I'll show you what a man is, you fucking you, you won't even take your mask off. I'll you never. You can't. I'm fucking wrong, bitch. Hey, hey. You want to hey. step to me, motherfucker? Hey, hey, chat. You're a chat, look at me. Look That's at why me. I'm here to call you out. Come here. I did that to you're call you out. Because you're a bitch. Everybody told you that your whole chat, life. Chat. This you know what? They're wrong. Look what you're doing to me. What am I doing here? You're fucking grabbing a man with a mask on. That's all you fucking do it. Even while in cuffs, Chad still felt he was untouchable by cops. He seemed to have an issue with masks and threatened the cops for wearing them. 
he thought they weren't mad enough and even uninvited them to his house. Oh, you got a mask on? You're not coming over. No, I'm not talking to either. Y'all gonna have to be men. A man without a mask. Drag me outside. A man without a mask. Drag me outside. No, you will know how strong my father is. Take him down. No, take him down. You can't. You're a You can't take me down. Look at this. All backwards. You. Oh, you're a, a man without a mask. That's it, that's it. That's it. Yes, that's it. That's what I did for my daughter. Any man, you are not a bitch anymore. Because I'm a real fucking man. And the real men, their dad gets them at their lowest point. Chad was charged with disorderly conduct and battery on a law enforcement officer. His case awaits trial. But the next passenger had unbearable tantrums. Saying you have to pay for anything. On March 2nd, 2021, officers were notified of a passenger causing extreme chaos. On arrival, an officer approached the caller, but their interaction was unexpectedly interrupted. She appears to be intoxicated. I can't put her in that manner. Okay. Bro, are you serious? All right. Las so Vegas, please. You call the not, listen. Listen, listen. You're not being Listen, I'm not, not fucking intoxicated. I can get on the Plane. I cannot afford the next ticket. So where the fuck is the manager and who the fuck is paying for my next ticket? Because I'm manager. not paying for this. Shit. She is the manager. Okay, then you can pay for the ticket for me to get to California. Because I'm not paying for this. Shit. I'm perfectly fine. She, I'm not she, um, fucking she was refunded. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, they paying for the next. Hey, for a period. Come talk to me, please. I'm right? talking to you, bro. Oh, I know, relax. They should have let me on this plane. Okay, She's what? being a bitch. She let's, fucks it. Let's start from the she knows it. Let's start from the beginning. All right. You want to start from the top? All right. Yeah. What you you obviously arrived here, and what happened when you got here? I don't you know. know. I was literally sleeping. Can, listen, I'm standing right here. I was fucking sleeping, waiting for the plane, bro. Okay, where over here? The woman woke up almost an hour late for her flight and was informed that she couldn't be helped. She then started spitting on passengers and verbally assaulting the employees. She believed intoxication and late coming wasn't enough reason to deny her from flying, but the cop told her the exact opposite was the case, and she quickly became violent. So the doors closed, they can't reopen. I'm not paying for this shit. I'm not talking about I'm not pay paying Listen, for it. I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not saying you have to pay for anything. <laughs> Don't stop now. You're just gonna have, you're gonna have to come with me and, and go to the, the county jail. If that's the if that's what you want, that's what we can do. It's up to you right now. Make a decision. What are you gonna put me in jail for? And I'm for not having done anything illegal. For being in an airport, you're causing a disturbance. You can be arrested for that. You want to do that? It's up to you. I'm giving you the option. You can either I listen. Go. You can walk quietly. I want to go home. Miss Diaz, you can. You know. I want to go home. It's just a well, let's go. Come on. No, I want to go then you go, then no. you, It's either you go front with me or you go to jail. It's one or the other. That's the only two choices we have. The woman pushed computers to the ground, possibly damaging them, and claimed innocence. She then blamed the staff for not being able to go home, even though she slept past her boarding time. She threw several tantrums at the cops, but it seemed possible jail time calmed her down. But as she headed for the exit, she did something completely unexpected. I just told you. The same thing I just told you. I need to put your hands behind your back. No, I'm not getting arrested. No, I'm not getting arrested. Oh, no. I don't need to get arrested, bro. I'm fine. I'm listening to you. We're talking, bro. No, you're not listening. Yes, I am. You don't need to arrest me. You do. No, you don't. You don't need to arrest me. Yeah. Okay, the handcuffs are on. I have to lock it. Relax.
Got the, can you grab her stuff? Yeah. Are you detaining me? No, you're being arrested. Are you detaining me? Well, yeah, and you're being arrested. The woman threw yet another tantrum at the cops, but this time, she paid dearly for it. After smashing her belongings and yelling, she still believed an arrest wasn't needed. But that wasn't for long, as the walk down to the cop car gave her a rough realization. I wasn't doing anything. I was literally sleeping. I was literally sleeping. I don't know why they got so mad. <laughs> Please. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me? No, or anything? I just want to go home. She was charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Information about her case remains limited, but Sandra was a much bigger pain to the cops, and she wasn't even a passenger. And let's go. Let's go. Susan, this way. Well, Susan, Let's mother. go. Yeah, let's go. They're downstairs. Let's go, Susan. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. No. Let's go. You can, don't get. You cannot be back here. Let's go. No. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need help, please, right now. Sandra had been escorted out of the airport many times before this incident. She reportedly never bought a ticket, but instead cussed at actual flyers. She kept coming back because she believed no one could tell her off, but she soon met a very shocking revelation. She's very, she's fighting me now. Let's go. Let's go. What? What is your problem? Let's go. Let's go. Susan, let's go. Let's go. Don't you bite me. You know what? Chris, get in there. Thank you. I need help right now, please. After hitting and biting the cop, Sandra was restrained onto the airport floor. She was unwanted at the airport, but still tried to fight her way inside. She remained calm for a while, but when more cops arrived to take her in, she became wildly violent. God! God! Help God! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! I don't like her. My glasses are over there. Thank you. The cops restrained her with belts and carried her to the airport's front gate. But even while surrounded by almost a dozen cops, Sandra remained relentless. <laughs> All right, come on. Help it. Why? Why? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. You got it. I didn't do anything. Hold on, come on. I didn't see them. I didn't see them. Sandra was charged with resisting arrest and assault on a police officer. She pleaded not guilty to the charges and awaits her court trial. But Tiffany Gomas wanted a plane stop for a very unusual reason. Stop the fucking plane. Stop the fucking plane. Stop the plane!
off this plane. Other passengers were anticipating the flight, but Tiffany desperately wanted the plane stopped. She kept looking behind her, and it seemed there was something or someone back there that scared her. The crew members tried to calm her down, but she became increasingly paranoid. No, I need to fuck off this plane right now. I need to get the fuck off this plane. Tiffany appeared scared of the man she was sitting next to. It appeared she had a discord with him and now wanted him far away from her. Fellow passengers were shocked that she wanted the plane stopped for a seat change. The crew members then helped her get a seat, but she did something completely unexpected. Pull me down. I'm getting the fuck off. I'm getting the fuck off because no, I'm getting the fuck off because there is a stupid fucking dude on here. No. Stop the plane. Tiffany walked to the front of the plane and announced that there was a strange man in the back. She announced her departure and advised other passengers to do the same. But upon leaving the plane, she was met by officers who made an unexpected report. There's kids on here. Oh my God. Before speaking to Tiffany, the cops met the man she had a discord with. He disclosed that she hit him unprovoked in the head and then walked off. He refused to press charges and realizing this, the woman became defensive. She claimed that she was a small person and so couldn't be arrested for hitting anyone. But the cops thought otherwise. Just please be considered, okay? You're in the state of Texas, if you touch somebody that's unwanted, okay, it's considered a class of assault. You could go to jail for it, you could get ticketed for it. Okay, I can tell you're already having a bad day. We're not trying to make it any worse. So, whenever you get out of here. My dad's a cop. Okay, well, do you have any questions for us? Yeah, absolutely not. Okay. Like, we can get the Authorities issued a criminal trespass warrant against Tiffany, but she was neither charged nor arrested. But the next passenger deplaned an aircraft because of a bomb. Now we're gonna have to deplane the whole plane. We gotta get everybody out. We gotta check it and run it through and see if there's any bomb. On February 2nd, 2023, officers were notified of a bomb threat at an airport. On arrival, they met the passenger who made the claim, but he revealed something shocking. Tell words, okay? I bet you if I would say there was a bomb on the plane. Yeah, and she said, we can't like to have that. It, just because we already had uh, a conversation about the bombs. Okay. So I, I suggested, if I was to say this, mm -hmm. and she took that as you're saying it, that's okay. why I'm trying to say what I'm saying. The man was annoyed after being given baggage fees, so he suggested to his wife about a bomb in the plane. An airline supervisor heard this and contacted the police, putting the airline in intense fear. Although we stated it was a false alarm, the cops had to deplane the aircraft for a search. They were angered by this and felt the man didn't understand the severity of his action. No, I didn't say it was. Hear me out, hear me out. I said wrong. Just let me it's say wrong. this. In this day and age, we gotta take it's everybody correct. you it's just even say. You see the it, response you got? It's hundred percent wrong. I I get it. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to say that I, I, it's hundred percent wrong. And I, I said something that was stupid. 
she took it and took it as a, I said that it was one. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't make a difference once she says it, whatever, whatever I'm saying, I'm good. I don't know. FBI and canine units arrived at the airport because of the bomb threat. The aircraft was deplaned, and the canine units searched through the entire plane. Shortly after, the search confirmed that the plane had no bomb in it. The airline was glad at the news, but things didn't end well for everybody. So now you're not flying. Okay, you can fly if you want to. I don't know if you're going to make it. I don't know if you're going to make it. But if you are flying, they're going to have to screen you. So you got you to stay here until you figure it out what's going to happen. Okay, all right, so you're not flying. The man was detained for a slew of reasons. He delayed a flight, prompted the airline's security threat protocol, and wasted the time and resources of everyone involved. He had to be questioned by airline security, the FBI, and the police. But upon further investigation, a much harsher conclusion was reached. All right, Mr. Curry, I told you from the beginning, I'm not going to bullshit you, okay? Uh, you're going to get arrested, all right? So I did time to turn around, put your hands right back. Basically, it's, it, it's a bomb threat, okay, and it, just the fact that we, we mobilize all these people to do this, all right, um, you will have a bomb, you'll be able to probably bomb out today or not tomorrow morning, okay, being straight as you. He was charged with making a false report concerning planting an explosive. He currently awaits trial, but he could face up to 15 years in prison.